Today during class, uh, a couple of students brought up the fact that, uh, sir, we can't work on our Sibelius chart at home because uh, when we comes to recording GarageBand, uh, because we can't take the scores with us or use Sibelius when we're off the school network, which I hadn't really thought of. So there is a really simple way that you can take your charts home with you once they're finished. Okay, so this is if you finish steps one through five and you want to be able to take your chord chart home with you so that you can record in GarageBand for homework. So we go up to the file menu, we go to export, and then we go, we click on PDF just here. You're going to leave it as score only because you want to export all the parts at once. We go down here to the file name. I'm going to click on just behind the little dot behind PDF because I want to leave it as a PDF so I can recognize it in a search. And I'm just going to type my name and then with the correct, without the capitals in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to just call it my original chord chart. And I'm just going to leave it as that. I don't know why I put a capital as a second letter every time. All right, so I'll just leave it as that. It's going to be saved into my, into my folder down here. You can browse the different folders if you like and save it somewhere that you want to customize it to. I might save it into my Google Drive, um, into my Year 7 folder for Kings. So I'll just leave it in there and I'll choose that and that's where it'll save it to. But essentially once you've named it as something, you've clicked on PDF and score only, you just export it and away you go. It should be as a, I should be able to quit that and go into my Google Drive folder and find the PDF in year seven and there it is. So you should be able to take that, open it with you and, uh, and there's your chord chart as a PDF. You can use that to uh, record on GarageBand at home if you finished everything in class.